Hey guys, Vlad, New England Comic Con Reviews, and I am joined today by a very good friend of mine, Cody. Hi everybody, I'm Cody, also known as Frickin' Rat, or Just Rat. And he is joining me because he is more of a gamer than I am, and seeing how he is, he is such a gamer, he's got in this new game that just came out, and you might know about it, It's it's been around for about almost 30 years, I think just a year shy of 30 years. Yeah, so sure. it's been around a while, it's got a lot of different games and all this and that. Yeah. Um, well, he's a very big fan, and he went and bought it, so we figured we'll do a little quick unboxing for you guys and talk about what comes in it. Um, like I said, this game's been around, you said, 30 years. It's gotten... Just under, yeah. Just Yeah, just under 30 years, and it's gotten so many different games and all that other crap. Um, it literally just came out, when yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was the release date, midnight. And uh, I kind of forced them to... Uh, I bribed them with a little bit of alcohol to wait until today so we can do this unboxing. What game you're wondering? Final Fantasy 15, of course. Final Fantasy, so there's been 15 different games on Actually, this? Actually, a lot more than just 15. There's so then why is this Final Fantasy 15? Because the series alone has gone from 15, but they've made others, they've made standalone games, they've made sequels to games, Otherwise, everyone is. So how come if they're standalone games, why do they keep adding numbers? Usually, isn't it usually the sequels that get the numbers? That's how it originally started because the company was actually about to go under, and they thought this was going to be their Final Fantasy. So ah, and it, it actually it, saved them. It, huh? it saved them. Yes, that's why the series has gone on and survived. All right. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let Cody. Um, Open it this up now. He he didn't just get the the regular edition. He got what would I got the deluxe edition. The deluxe edition. So what does the deluxe edition come with? It's a little more special than just the regular edition. It has a steel art box work uh, from Yoshitaka Amano. Uh, a comes, Japanese guy. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. We apologize. Not great with names. Yeah. Ah. It, beautiful artwork. Stunning. Uh, it comes with a couple, a few DLCs that people... DLCs. Can... Downloadable content. Yes. Right? Yes. So for you all new gamers, or people who don't, who are just getting into it, DLC stands for downloadable content. I'll do my best to try and translate gamer talk for you guys. Yeah. Uh, so it's got the Royal Arraignment... Uh, Let's output. open this so that way we can show them what, what, what it is. Okay. So here goes. Ready? Almost did it with one pull. Almost. I'm a little bad at this. So here we are. Final Fantasy Deluxe Edition. The steel box. Yeah. That is pretty, pretty nifty looking. Yeah, it's sexy, right? Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little glare there. Yeah, well, that's the cellophane. So this is, it's like, it's like... It's like a, uh, yeah, the steel box edition. So just like you get a, a DVD or anything, it's a steel box edition. So it's supposed to come with nifty thing. I don't know who gave him a knife. Uh, she never hand me a knife that often. Oh, it has a cover too. It does. It slides too. Oh, look slides that. right out. A little out. nifty little plastic thing. That way, you know, you can just look at just the straight up artwork, which is oh, that's beautiful. Cool. And not only does it come with the game, here's what the deluxe edition entails. All three of the DLCs. Don't yeah. be trying to copy the code. Already used by the time you're going to see this. Booklet from the Final Fantasy team, all autographed by everyone involved. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is great. Where's, where's Yoshimaru's signature? Can you find it? I cannot after opening this right now. Uh, I don't know either. Alright, so what's on this side? These, you got the characters, which, you know, I don't want to unveil too much because I'd rather people play it and experience it for themselves. Alright, so this is you know? the downloadable content, right? Yes. And this gives you your code? Yes. For... And we're going to bleep this out, yes. So yeah. tell me about what, what comes with the... With so the you got the, uh, the Masamuno blade, which will hopefully impact a lot. And it's just a downloadable extra blade, you know, extra More sword. More weapons? 
more weapons, more power. Always great. Uh, an extra skin, the Royal Ainment look skin for Noctis. It just looks like a kingpin, like the Daredevil kingpin, seriously. Yeah. But, you know, how would you like to rock, walk around and rock that? You know? And, of course, the Leviathan Regal skin, which makes your car just look that much more sexy. Which is not like a sea creature thing, but it actually looks more like the the car. It looks it has the shape of a Bentley, but it has it also has the feel of the uh, the um, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah, it looks like that Good car. Point. I get that. Yeah. All right, what else comes in this? What's all this? Uh, I I well, yeah, that's just the instruction booklet. That I mean, standard books that come with everything, just more or less. It doesn't look like an instruction no, booklet. No, that's just your warnings. All right. So what is this? It's, it's trying to get me to buy more shit. Okay, so what is this? That is Kingsclave, which is the Blu-ray that comes with it. That was the Blu-ray, the movie that was based off the game. That they decided, hey, let's make a movie. and. So they made a movie off the game. Yeah. Have you seen it yet? I have not. Have you seen the trailer? I have, and the trailer is amazing. How the graphics compare to the game? I haven't played the game, so I can't say, but... Have you seen the trailers of the game? I have. So this, are they comparable? Yeah, yeah, they're comparable to any CGI that you're going to see in the game. Awesome. Now, is, this is... Fantasy World, just another advertisement. Kingdom Hearts. So, is this the, all these games from the same company? Who makes, yes. Who makes this? Square Enix. Who? Square, uh, Square Enix. Square Enix. So you Square say Enix. I'm not that big of a gamer. That Started as Square Sock, well, Square, then Square Sock, then Square Enix, and yes, but... Well, it, if it you've is. ever played any of the Final Fan uh, the Kingdom Hearts games, those are games you would get into. They they are the only games that merge Final Fantasy, which is one of my loves, to Disney, which is one of yours. You don't like Disney? No, I like Disney, but I, I play. You don't want to run around and play as Disney characters and kick the shit out of other people? I played. I think I tried playing one of the Kingdom Hearts games, and yeah? I just I, I was not interested. I tried uh, playing the Final Fantasy games, and I wasn't interested either. Now, okay. you, there's how many? 15 plus games, I'm yeah. guessing. Which one's your favorite? My favorite, though I know I get a lot of grief and shit from this, is going to be 8. Why do you get grief from it? Uh, a lot of people disregard that as one of their lesser qualified games. They're, it's too much of a love story to some. Less qualified and, game? Yeah, well, of all their games, a lot of people just don't like 8. They shun 8 and they're like, eh, it was... The way that the junction and draw system was, because every creature you come across, you can draw their magic from it, and you can either use that, but if you use that, you equip that to your stats. So every time you use, say, a fire ability, you could lose health, or you could lose your strength. Or and that's why they didn't like it, because it was that, a harder game? It, yeah, that's, oh, okay. that and the story, a lot of people thought it was too much of a love story. And so it's kind of like the Green Lantern, it wasn't a superhero movie, it was a love story. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry Ryan Reynolds, it's true, stick with that pool. Although, I'd rather Final Fantasy VIII over Green Lantern. <laughs> Alright. So, we'll hopefully play some of this game for you guys later on, shortly after this video. This has been the, uh, our first unboxing games, we're going to try to get more into games and bring you more gamer news. Uh, Cody will hopefully join us more. So yeah. until next time, stay safe, keep playing.